Welcome back to I Am Angus, brought to you by the American Angus Association and the Igenity Profile for Angus, providing Angus breeders with comprehensive genomic results for multiple economically important traits. Well, the cowboy, we certainly understand here at the National Cowboy Museum, means different things to different people, but the fact is he has been a source of inspiration. Uh, he's been a, a source of guidance. He's been a, a hero figure to people from all walks of life, from all over the world. What the cowboy has brought to our culture is uh, the discipline of Mother Nature changing what you can change and wrestling with those issues, but also coming to accept those things that you cannot change. And I think that builds in them a, a, uh, a certain patience, uh, a certain sense of connection, frankly, with the forces that are bigger than we are. And I think that uh, has always made them a rather unique element of our culture. You know, back in the, in the early days of the cowboy, is uh, what we would say the heyday was, uh, in the day of the big trail drives when uh, we were, were trying to move beef cattle from where they were uh, on, the, on the big ranches, uh, particularly uh, in the southern states, southwestern states, moving them uh, up to where the people were, or at least to where they had rail access to getting those cattle back to the people. So, you know, uh, uh, young men typically, and uh, many of them coming after the Civil War, and. Uh, looking for a way to, to make a living. Got involved with those, uh, with those trail drives and moving those hundreds of thousands of cattle uh, to, from the range to, uh, to the railheads, and uh, that is what many people think was the heyday of the cowboy. I look across history and say, you know, you can go back centuries, uh, not only on this continent, but around the world, and find folks who have uh, found a fascination with, uh, with caring for livestock, and, and those, have, those have been the cowboys, guys that uh, had a notion that uh, there was some good to be done by uh, moving these cattle from poor range to good range and trying to uh, put more weight on them, bring them to maturity, and bring them to a point where they could be turned into protein for people. As time has gone on, it's interesting to me, again, with every generation, we think that's the end of the cowboy, but the fact is, with every generation, uh, we continue to learn about not only the science of producing these cattle, from the genetics to nutrition, that uh, helps us create a better and better beef animal that uh, can better be turned into a great source of protein for people, but we also learn more and more about how they behave. Uh, I think the cowboy today uh, handles cattle more efficiently, uh, certainly with less stress on both man and beast than we have in any other generation since the beginning of mankind. And I think we will lose something very vital, particularly to the American culture, uh, if that ever goes away. These are still folks, and, and in many cases, families that are out there finding a way to stay on the land, not because it's necessarily uh, the means by which they can uh, generate the greatest amount of wealth, but because they believe, and again, now several generations down the line, they believe that their connection with, uh, with God's creation in that way is, is important uh, and is worth maintaining. Uh, to folks that are that are born to the land, if you will, and who take seriously that connection, uh, I think create for us as a nation a foundation that is uh, critical to our survival in a in a country that's founded on liberty, uh, founded on uh, individual rights, founded on the notion that uh, uh, here we are in a nation where if you're willing to to take the risk and find a way to overcome obstacles, uh, you can be successful. You're not, you're not guaranteed it, but you have a shot at it. Uh, that's something that these folks are doing on a daily basis. So uh, that, that individual ranch enterprise is a place where that, uh, that entrepreneur, uh, we hope, can always be able to survive and thrive if uh, things turn right for them, and that really is the American way.